How's it going you guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another awesome video. Today we will be installing something really cool on the TC. Uh, but first, currently for the piece to arrive. Um, it's supposed to arrive today in which we'll be installing it. Assuming it gets here soon because um, I do have to do other things today. But let's quickly check. And nope. Nope, so not here. So when it arrives, we'll be installing it on the car. So guys, we'll be right back with it. Um, I saw a car pull, uh, vehicle pull up, and I think it might have been the package. Let's see. And boom. Let's. Yep. Yes, it is. Woo. All right. Why? Why, why is my camera like to focus? There we go. So we got the package. Now it's time to, let's see, let's see, let's see, time. Yeah, we got time to install. Let's get this bad boy installed. All right, so now I gotta get this open. One sec here, guys. Um, I'm gonna actually set you down because this is gonna be tricky to do one-handed. Alright, so here you go. This is a trunk lip for the TC. Um, I didn't realize it was going to be this big, but damn, this thing looks good. Um, it's just a polycarbonate, because um, unfortunately they don't make much. There's no companies out there who make anything in carbon fiber. However, I do think we're going to try some fitment, drive around with it, see how it feels, and then probably in the next few days do a carbon fiber wrap on it. But, it's time to get this bad boy on. Whew, this looks awesome. I think this is going to look so good on the car. Alright guys, okay, so now we're just doing a test fitment. We stripped off the old little tiny one. Um, that was just like a... Here we go. piece of stuff that was working on there. Um, so we stripped it off. And then now we're just testing the fitment. Um, it fits awesome. I think it definitely looks really good. Um, so get a line here. There we go. Um, yeah, that looks way better. That looks awesome. Definitely gives such a mean look to the car. Wow. Um, so now, pretty much this is an easy process. Uh, we just strip off the old one, um, clean it up, which I've already done. Um, I'm actually gonna leave this stuff because it's still really sticky and totally fine. And it is actually sticking to the bottom of this. Um, I was sent some, which is awesome, but I don't really need to re-strip uh, this. So I'm just gonna leave this one here um, drill through the already current drill holes, drill up through into that so that means it's definitely held in there. Um, but other than that, I think we're pretty good. It should be a pretty simple installation process. Um, just gotta pop this trunk piece off, drop the whole thing down, and then put it in. Well, so I just quickly ran into a dilemma. I thought this was 3M tape, which is double-sided tape. It's actually not. It is just a fabric or like a little pad that goes in between here to dampen any rattle or like protect the paint. Um, and so I thought that was 3M as well as I thought these were. Apparently it's not. So I have to run to the store to go pick some up on the way to go pick up my girlfriend from the store. But then when you get back from there, We'll install it, um, so unfortunately, I know how to get to drive around with this looking like a total idiot. So, <sighs> just gotta love that. Um, also, yes, I know the car's really dirty. We're cle gonna clean it after I get all this done. I'm just waiting until I get this piece installed. So, we'll quickly run to the harvester, pick that up, get my girlfriend, come back here, and get it installed. Promise. All right guys, welcome to actually day two now. Um, right where we left off just a, a clip ago, uh, we're running to the auto store to pick up 3M double-sided tape. 
um, and a few other things because apparently it didn't come with it even though I thought it would uh, but because it like it was really so easy you just put it on there and then place it onto the car um, I added two additional screws um, that I already had from the previous spoiler that took me 30 seconds to do um, so it wasn't really something I needed to vlog on but here's what it looks like now there you go yeah so it's all in it looks so mean it makes the car look so much more aggressive and just looks oh this is something had i known it would look so good and it was so easy and affordable to do i would have done this a long time ago i mean look at that that's awesome yeah so we're probably going to either dip it or wrap it carbon fiber uh, again they don't make any carbon fiber parts for my car like this um, and i love the look of carbon fiber so we're probably going to either do wrap or dip not sure yet but wow just speechless so this took me like literally two minutes to install um, in the AutoZone parking lot that's how simple this was um, plus we got the car all cleaned up I don't know if you guys can tell so little wipe still dry in there look at that nice shine oh, the car just looks awesome right now there we go so now it looks mean Super mean, just look at that. Plus I can see it in the back window. Um, although I gotta redo this sticker cause um, somehow it got a little crooked when I installed it cause I guess I screwed up or something. Plus this I think blocks it. So I wanna lift this up either a little bit more or we'll just change the position, not sure. Uh, so we gotta redo that, but that's it. Um, so again, we still have the other thing on the front of the car, can't say yet, um, but this being said, quickly go take the car out uh, and get a few shots later. So I think, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. I think it looks so much meaner. Um, I've seen a few TCs with a similar thing, but never quite one like this. I think it looks just epic. Um, and I wish I'd done this piece a long time ago. I mean, it just looks awesome. But anyways, let's actually head out. Girlfriend and I are going for a quick hike. Then when you get back, we'll probably get some sweet pictures um and they were one of my favorite local spots so i'll see you guys there all right so now we're actually back home i know i said we we're gonna go to a local spot uh but i was actually had a bunch of stuff i had to do so i decided to come back home first um and actually we're gonna, just gonna get shots right here because the lighting's awesome and I, I don't know why i love the background of my house with shots so we're actually just gonna do it right here but first we're gonna pull this car out of the garage so let's get that done much more aggressive than it did before I mean as you guys saw that little stupid lip thing I bought for like 20 bucks and put it on but this is just a huge step up Gobs. I know I gotta clean the tins but just listen to that rumble Woo. oh god the car looks so clean now All right, I think it's time to get some sweet shots Right, guys that will be it for today's video but i hope you guys enjoyed this install um i think it just looks absolutely insane i mean just yeah, that looks awesome 
Um, be sure to stay tuned and subscribe because there definitely will be more coming out on installs in this car, upgrades, stuff like that. Um, there's more coming up on the Boxster. Like I said, we are repainting that coming up here in a few weeks, maybe, maybe about a month. Um, we also, please stay tuned, might be putting a pre-order down on a new car, maybe. More details on that coming later. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to be uh, to join the like squad and smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and be sure to subscribe and share as well. So, that being said guys, I hope again you enjoyed today's video. More like these coming out soon. One last quick shot of how awesome this looks. Thumbnail, yeah, what about that? You like that? Maybe a little bit more like this? I don't know. Anyways, um, but with that being said guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys next time.